Hello, Blaine Gray here, DIY for beginners, and today we're going to be sorting out a door that is very tight. We've had a new carpet installed in this place, which means the door's dragging along the carpet and it's very stiff. So today's video, we're going to show you how to trim a door and make sure we get it to the right size and shape, ready and comfortably on the floor. Let's start. We want to be opening it and seeing where it's stiff. So you can see it's very stiff along this edge here. It's a bit gappier along this edge. Now, what I like to do is open the door all the way and see exactly where it's pulling. It's quite tight at this edge now. So there we are. It is actually still tight along this corner. So what we want to do is find a point where the carpet's touching the door and mark a line. Now, it'd be the same if it was a laminate flooring. If it was a wood flooring, you'd want to mark a point where it's touching and it's tight. So now what we're going to do is slide the door across, check the other end of the door, and also put a mark there to make sure we've got two points. What I'm doing is trying to get an accurate reading exactly where the level is. So the problem is your floors might have a bit of undulation, it might be a bit of movement. You don't want to be cutting the door down to the first mark you see. You go to fit it and it's still tight. So what we've got to do is find the highest point. From there we can measure the distance and where we need to cut. So the next thing, we're going to take the door off. Right, so the door's off. Let's get ready to cut it. I'm going to show you some tips on getting perfect cutting station to make sure we've got the right equipment ready to cut the door right. So I've got myself a sawhorse. This is an evolution one. Great bit of kit. It's foldable. Got some little levers here. You pull them, pull the legs out. And there it is. Handy bit of kit, got two of these, I'm really going to lay it out flat, ready for the cutting. Okay, so here's mark number one, and here's the mark number two. Now, what we want to do is find out the distance from where we're cutting. Now, people say a good inch to allow for maximum airflow, I think that's way too big. So what I'm going to work with is always 10 to 12 mil. This, to me, is the perfect distance, and I'm going to use 12 mil because of the carpet. You don't need rubbing against the door. Now I want to get a straight edge, I'm going to run a line from end to end here, clean line, run that through. So now the next thing is looking what we're using. So I'm going to be using a circular saw but you can use a standard hand saw, just make sure it's a second fixed one with fine teeth so when you're cutting it's not going to chip the timber away. I'm changing the blade over. Now the thing is with doors you want a really clean cut because you don't want it ch timber chipping off especially if you've got solid door ends at the bottom. So I've got a new second fixed blade. So if your blade is a bit blunt just get a new one. This was £17. You're not going to break the bank but you're going to get much better results if you just change it over. So we're going to do that. Now the next thing, thing is we want to look the distance from the blade to the edge of the rail. So what it's going to do, we're going to set a timber next to our point and we're going to run a rail next to it. So I'll explain in more detail, but you grab your tape measure and the distance from that to that is 30 mil. So I've measured 30 mil away from our line and line it up and use one of these speedy clamps. So. Get your measurement, 30mm on the line, 30mm on the line, so we're all good. Okay, so if you are using a skill saw, what I like to do is set the depth to half the thickness of the door. So what we're going to do is going to do a clean cut, and we're not going to go all the way through. And what this is going to do is going to minimise uh, splinters, it's going to stop the door from getting any whiplash, and it's going to give you a cleaner cut overall. So we're going to go through at half the depth, and then what I want to do is open up and then we're going to cut all the way through. Now like I said, this is just going to give you a cleaner cut and if your saw blade isn't that good then it's just going to give you a nicer cut all around. And I do this generally just to minimise any damage on the door, especially if you're looking to keep it and if it's for a customer. Now what I can do is give the edges a nice little sand down. Now this door is getting completely repainted so it's all going to get sanded eventually but this is a process and what you would do give the edges a sand and then what I recommend take the door in and check it just check you've got everything right check that the it fits in its space and check you don't need to cut no more off 
So the door's been cut, we've got it in the room. Now what we're gonna do is gonna line it up, see if it all fits nicely. So this little thing is a brilliant little lifesaver. What it does, you put it under anything, pump it up, and it'll lift up the area you're working on. Now the reason this is so good, because putting doors back on on your own can be a bit of a pain. So let me show you. I always like to start with the lowest hinge first, pump this bag up, you'll see it lifting. And then that'll give you enough height. Bag's pumped up. Got the hinge nicely in place. Whack a few screws in. And don't tighten these screws up too much because they will snap. So just go gently with them. And now, with that bag still inflated, you can pump the door up. The bag's got the weight of the door. So if you look down, the bag's inflated, it's got the weight. So what this means with a hinge, we've got a bit of a pivot. You can easily line this up to the hinge because the weight's on the lower corner. Put your screw in. Making sure you don't over tighten the screws because they will snap otherwise. Put this edge in, pull the door as tight as you can to the edge of the... There we go, in nicely. Now all the hinges fit. And when you're done, just deflate the bag. Comes undone. Let's check the door. There's no more pulling. Closes nicely. Nice distance, nice cut all the way through. It's even on the centers there, so they meet up nicely, which means they open cool.